Aloha friends, good morning. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far, a wonderful day. It is almost Christmas. I can't believe Christmas is a week away. My kids keep reminding me and I still have yet to finish my shopping. But um, I'm almost done. We are leaving for Seattle tomorrow so I wanted to make a quick video with you guys before I clean up my, um, my Scentsy warmer. So today I will be discussing about my Scentsies and how I love my Scentsies. Um, I have been using Scentsy products for about a year and a half now. My BFF over here started um, being a Scentsy, um, what do you call them, promoter, consultant um, a year and a half ago. And so she introduced me to it. Um, I have about five warmers in my home, uh, one for each bedroom. Uh, got the kids room my room and then I have one in the main living room area and then I have one in the kitchen um, it almost runs throughout the day I do turn it off um, before we go to bed um, even my uh, kids uh, Sensi warmers only because I know it's pretty safe because what it is is um, rather than an open flame it's a low watt light bulb um, it says 25 watt or smaller and I know it is pretty safe, but I during the night I don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to take a chance, so I turn it off at night, and also to make it to rest the the wax um, because uh, once you burn it on going for for a while, it does use up the scent um, faster than if you just turn it on for a few hours and then turn it off again and then turn it on for a few hours and then turn it off again, kind of thing. So. I wanted to talk about the current Scentsy bars that I have right now and there are so many I mean she's constantly making me smell certain ones because I, ha I do I have to smell it before I purchase it because I like um, clean scents I like citrusy clean you guys remember when I was doing my grapefruit my um, pomelo those are the kind of scents that I love with my candles and um, even my perfume um, I don't like the musk um, I don't like the must um, smell, not too strong. I love Christmas, but I don't like to smell the um, the wintry green or the the too cinnamony kind of thing scents that's um, all um, that they have for candles um, that you can see all throughout like Target, Walmart, and all that other re um, stores that they have for the season. I like it clean and fresh, so. The ones I have is I usually get two packs, um, two or three packs at least of some new scents and these are the ones that I currently have. I have three of these, three and three and three, but the one that I have is um, the Havana Cabana scent. Um, this one is actually, I'm showing you guys a, an almost empty one. I don't think this is a Havana, um, Havana Cabana. Because a Havana Cabana, um, Havana Cabana is like a yellowish in color. But I'll talk about that later on of why I'm showing you this one. So I do, my um, staples is um, Havana Cabana. I always get this. I always get refills of this. It's, this is um, one of the fresh scents that I do enjoy. A new scent that came out uh, or that I start getting is the Honeymoon Hideaway. Um, it's white and... Um, it's fresh and clean scent, like I said, they all are. Ooh, this one is um, very clean, like, like it's barely there, but it is there kind of thing. So I haven't tried this out yet. Um, this one that's currently burning right now is the Very Merry Cranberry, and I do enjoy that. Um, it, it is a nice... Um, uh, refreshing scent not too strong um, like the other Christmas scents but um, it is for I think it is for the holiday so I like that one here's another scent um, this is the one that I have for my girls room it's called the awakening um, and very nice very girly sweet not necessarily girly it's just very sweet it's a sweet um, light scent um, and to discuss a little bit more about these um, Scentsies offers um, these are called warmers and they have different sizes they have a small or a large or a medium or a large but I do believe this is a large one this is called the bridal 
or the bride um, warmer. They also have ones that plug into the wall. Um, I didn't bring it with me. I have it upstairs. They also have one where it's like a circle that you could put into your um, rear view mirror of your car or in the closet kind of thing. And then you're able to spray um, some of these scents that they have available onto that um, uh, that disc. They have that. Um, uh, they have the plug-in. Um, I think I just mentioned that the plug-in. And then it has a little warmer on it. Um, I don't use that one only because I have the kids and they're running around and I would hate for them to um, to uh, knock it down and then spill the wax onto the floor kind of thing. So these are my current right now. Um, I usually change, um, I only get like I said two or three of bars um, and four, mostly four different ones at a time because I like to change them out. I often find that once it burns, then um, I don't know if my nose has gotten accustomed to it, but because the other people that come into the home, they smell it, but I, I don't um, smell it anymore, so I like to change it up. So that's my Scentsy, and then I'm going to talk to you guys about, um, about the wax and how um, usually, like they said, after 12 hours, um, it does... Um, the scent, the scent of the the wax um, starts dying out, and so I want to talk to you guys about that one. And before I do talk about that one, this is the only time that this has happened to me. I don't know if you guys can see because there's a glare. This is the um, the very merry cranberry, and out of all the scentsy bars, this is the one that only the one that has those little clumps in there. So. I did this the other day and so all I do is just you know swirl it around with a q-tip um, and then it basically dissolves the um, uh, that those little particles that seems like it's um, clumps of something I don't know what it is but I wanted to change it out but before I change it out I actually wanted to show you guys what I have been doing because Scentsy is a popular brand of, um, you know, warmers and wax and stuff like that to, um, to, to have in your home or your office and school or wherever you, you'd want it, um, the room to smell good. And I love Scentsy, but you know, you guys can buy the, um, you, you guys can buy the warmers and the wax, um, elsewhere, like Hallmark, I've seen it, our Hallmark, of not just a Scentsy brand, of a different brand, um, Walmart has it for, um, is it Better Homes and Garden brand, and also maybe some other brands of wax, and then also warmers, I have actually two Walmart warmers, um, that I got at Walmart, because they run for about like $15. These run for about $35 to $42 for a warmer at Scentsy. Um, the only reason I got this one is because I wanted, uh, my hubby actually wanted it during a, um, let me clean that up, during a hula performance for the girls. And the other one I bought, it was the owl one, which is really, really cute. I have it for the girls in their room. And it was like about $38. $38. So they, they tend to be more pricey than the um, the not so popular brand of Walmart or Target or even Costco has um, has warmers. You know, you can get them all over the place. But um, and then also the bars itself is also pricey. I think they're three for fifteen dollars um, unless there's a special. So just three of these is already $15. And then like I said, after 12 days of using it, the scent actually um, either um, loses its smell or you're very accustomed to it already. And I have five around the house, so it will add up. So what I've been doing is um, I have been adding my own um, uh, pure, 100% pure essential oils within my warmer so this is the process that I do I once your once your candle scent has um, has dissolved or it's no longer smelling the way you'd want it to smell just use it up um, as much as you can so that you know it doesn't have that smell anymore so you're not contradicting the the current smell with the new smell unless it goes together so the one that I picked out was a lemon 
and like I said this is 100% pure essential oil I got this from my Roots um, grocery store Roots is a um, it used to be Sprouts I believe but now it's Roots um, it's an organic store it's everything supposed to be they sell everything that's supposed to be ha um, grown um, um, grown to the ground like all their veggies and their fruits are all organic all alive so basically it's a organic and alive store um, so it's just down the street from me and this was four dollars and what the girl suggested to do because this is my first time um, trying it out with my my warmers and I've been doing it for about a week now so what I do is I melt the candle and open up my scent of whatever scent you guys um, like and there was lavenders in there and there was even grapefruit I wanted to um, get the grapefruit next time um, orange, um, tangelo, there's some sort of winter, winter green they have all sorts of scents for um, essential oils so once it's melted she said to put about six, six to eight drops so I do that and then I get my Q-tip and then just swirl it around. Oh, I can already smell it. And it does work for a couple of days because like I said, I have this from the moment I wake up at about 6 o'clock or sometimes even 5.30, I turn it on um, to start warming up the house and start um, smelling good kind of thing. Uh, warming, when I say warming up the house, not necessarily warming it, but a warming feeling. Um, to the house kind of thing so I turn that on and then I turn on the one in the in the living room um, and then the kids once they leave for school I make sure that their beds are you know um, fixed if they didn't fix it sometimes there's just no time for them to fix it because they're always in a rush then I'll turn on their warmer so it has a good smell into their room and I can really smell it right now but um, yeah I, I've been using it um, for like I said I told you a week and this little bottle was $3.99 um, it was normally like I think five dollars or something like that and they had like a 30% off all their essential oils so that's what I'll do from now on is that whenever they have you know a, a good sale because it was like roughly around six dollars something or seven dollars and then if it was 30% off I got it a pretty good deal then I'll just start collecting different um, different oils so that when they do run out I can I can add uh, some oils in there and get some new scents for me rather than throwing um, throwing it out so that's why I wanted to show you guys the Havana Cabana and what I do is that after I'm done with the scent then um, I think this is the same one the cranberry that I just cleaned upstairs so I thought about recording you guys um, a Sensi series on this one so this one has already dried up um, what I'll do is to change the scent because I'm I need to clean it because we're leaving tomorrow so to reuse it you just pour it back into the container oh, that's my phone all right so I poured it in there oh I had this in here to keep it in there um, and then while it hasn't um, hardened yet, I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit more, um, more oil in there because this will harden after, you know, after a while, not too long. And then I'm going to go ahead and close it up. There you go. And then I will, um, I will leave it here on the counter until it hardens and then I'm gonna put it away and then there's my um, clean warmer and all I did was just wipe it down with a paper towel while it's still um, while it's still hot that's the easiest way to um, to clean the um, the bowl it's just when it's still um, a little bit warm once you pour it out also um, what I do often to um, when I used to dump out my wax is that I sorry um, what I used to do before was that um, when um, I was done with the wax was put it in the freezer for a few minutes literally like 10 minutes and it, it's, it hardens up and then I use this spatula to um, work around the edges and then it'll, um, it'll pop out 
but now now that I um, discovered that you can actually add more scents in there with you know putting your own um, essential oil I will no longer throw out my old wax I will put it um, I will save the container and put it in there so the next time I use this it'll be like a lemony scent to it and that's it just wanted to um, share that with you guys thought that might be a little bit of a, a useful uh, trick to um, to have uh, and that's it well thank you guys for being with me this morning and I hope that uh, this helped you out and as always have yourself a wonderful day mahalo bye bye